now we are going to talk about community of practice within the context of social learning theory uh, in other words we are going to talk about how social learning theory explain the community of practice the concept of community of practice is part of the social learning theory and how it is the part of the social learning theory let's see that so first of all uh, when we talk about the social learning theory we accept that we are the social beings and we interact with each other for uh, common social interest and for the common uh, goals and this is what uh, we do in the community of practice as well knowledge is a matter of competence competence in respect to certain valued practices this is what we believe as a proponent of social learning theory and this is what we do as a member of community of practice knowing is a matter of participating in the achievement of these practices so uh, being the member of the community of uh, practices we intend to know certain kinds of things on a particular social topic or on a particular social issue or a public issue and once we know uh, about a particular issue we uh, try to participate on order to uh, address that particular issue meaning is what learning must ultimately produce so uh, when we talk about the uh, agenda of the community of practice uh, we actually develop community of practice to achieve a uh, certain kind of uh, solutions on of the particular problems and it means that uh, uh, we try to understand uh, the nature of those issues and once we understand the nature of those issues we can uh, produce the solution of those issues and this is what we learn in the community of practice so uh, social learning theory integrate the necessary components in order to characterize social participation as a learning and knowing process the first thing which is meaning meaning is understood as a way of talking about our ability both individually or collectively of experiencing our lives and the world as something meaningful and the same we do in the community of practice as well in which we assume a certain kind of role and uh, uh, being the part of that community as a collective uh, uh, identity we opt and uh, we try to uh, address a particular issue practice is understood as a way of talking about shared historical and social resources frameworks and perspectives that can sustain mutual engagement in action so in a uh, community of practice uh, we uh, do this by exchanging the ideas by being the part of the discussion forums and by uh, being the part of the policy development we uh, do the practice in order to achieve certain goals community is understood as a way of talking about social uh, configurations in which the pursuit of enterprise is defined as valuable and participating in them is recognized as competence competence so when we become the part of the community of practice we have this understanding of the communities in our mind and the members of the community of practice consider them as the competent one to achieve the agenda of the community of practice identity is another component when we talk about the com community of practice within the perspective of social learning theory and identity is understood as a way of talking about the change that learning affects on who we are and of how it creates personal histories within the context of community so these uh, four components are interlinked it with each other if we just see this uh, diagram and in which you can see that practice is something which is learning as doing meaning is learning as experience and identity is learning as becoming and community is learning as belonging 
सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ सोशल लर्निंग थियरी विद कम्युनिटी ऑफ प्रैक्टिस